Cervical cancer is the second most common cancer affecting women worldwide. More than 85% of all cervical cancers and 88% of cervical cancer deaths occur among women who live in developing countries. Almost all cases of cervical cancer are caused by a virus called the human papillomavirus, or HPV. However, it can be easily prevented by two doses of the HPV vaccine. In Eritrea, the HPV vaccine has been included in the five-year National Immunization Strategic Plan for 2023 to 2027 as part of the Ministry of Health's expanded program for immunization. According to the plan, the first round of the HPV multi-age cohort vaccination campaign was conducted between the 21st and the 25th of November in 2022. The campaign aimed to target 300,000 girls ages 9 to 14 with the first dose of the vaccine and took place in over 1,400 schools, 300 health stations, 250 makeshift stations and 60 mobile clinics throughout Eritrea. The second dose will be administered in another campaign that will take place after six months. Before the HPV multi-age cohort vaccination campaign, a series of preparatory activities were conducted to ensure that at least 95% HPV vaccination coverage would be achieved throughout the six regions of the country. This included establishing a task force at national and sub-national levels to plan, implement, monitor, and supervise the HPV multi-age cohort vaccination campaign. The campaign had started before six months, meaning that preparation for the campaign. We did a macro planning at national level in June 2022. Then the operational activities is done after six months. In between these six, uh, six months, we have uh, carried out a lot of activities. Establishment of the task force at district level. We have already deployed also about uh, 1,452 health workers as vaccinators and also about uh, 234 uh, supervisors and coordinators. And from the local government and Ministry of Education, we have also deployed about uh, 1,191 participants and also community. Overall, 3,889 human power were uh, deployed to this campaign. This also included nationwide training of trainers, macro planning, and sub-national micro planning, including orientations for immunization. School administrators, teachers, community health workers, and community service organizations were also oriented to the importance of the vaccines and were requested to track the participation of eligible female students and out-of-school girls in the HPV multi-age cohort vaccination campaign. Zoba Ansaba is one of the six administrative regions of Eritrea. Ambassador Abdullah Musa is the governor of Zoba Ansaba. He and other officials are in attendance to launch the region's HPV multi-age cohort vaccination campaign at La Sala High School in Karan City. His presence is indicative of the high level of political commitment to ensuring high vaccination demand for the HPV vaccine. After carrying out health promotion activities for the young girls, health workers who are part of the immunization team start vaccinating the eligible girls 9 to 14 years of age. One nurse thoroughly reviews the HPV registration sheets, while another provides HPV vaccine to the girls. The 
The government of the state of Eritrea, through its Ministry of Health and Ministry of Education, with significant funding contributions from the Global Alliance for Vaccines and Immunizations, or GAVI, and technical support from UNICEF, WHO, and other UN agencies in Eritrea, demonstrated its people-centered vaccination campaign even in hard-to-reach areas. Our girls are our future. They have a lot of health challenges they face, but let's do our best to prevent those. And we are happy that the government is giving a priority to the girls, to the children, in all its services. That is what I refine as being social justice to the children. Marhawit Gabrit is a resident of Karan. She is pushing her 11-year-old daughter, Yosan Kasata, in a wheelchair to the nearest community health center in the heart of the city. Marhawit learned about the HPV vaccination campaign at a sensitization program conducted earlier by the regional medical center. Now, she is rushing to give her daughter her first dose of the HPV vaccine to prevent cervical cancer. The campaign has also aimed to reach young girls 9 to 14 years of age who may be out of school. This outreach medical team is trekking the hills of the Balua administrative district in the Ilabar Eid subzone on foot to reach the home of Bakhita Mantai. She is the mother of Rauda Yassin, an 11 year old girl with a mental disability. <laughs> Most villages in the Ansaba region are found scattered in the mountains and are inaccessible by road. It is difficult for girls to reach the vaccination services they desperately need, especially if they are disabled or unwell. This team with a mobile clinic has reached a point where it can no longer cross over the terrain that leads to where Rauda Abdul Qadr lives. She is 14 years old and the youngest of three sisters with a rare disease that affects the nervous system. Her brother, Idris Abdul Qadr, is bringing her to get her dose of the HPV vaccine. Far Alaba is found 10 kilometers away from the road that leads to the glass subzone of the Ansaba region. The terrain is mountainous and communities are set far apart from each other. Traveling between villages is made possible only using donkeys and camels. This medical team of four is using a donkey to get the vaccines to the young girls of the village.
With the help of community health workers, the vaccination campaign to prevent cervical cancer is a success in the Anzaba region. The high HPV vaccination coverage of 300,000 girls of the ages of 9 to 14 years old demonstrated Eritrea's well-developed vaccination system and its pledge to leave no one behind. The Ministry of Health of the State of Eritrea plans to introduce the HPV vaccination in late 2023 as part of the regular national vaccination program for nine years of age after successfully conducting two rounds of the HPV multi-age cohort vaccination campaign.